Hey guys, Christina Dwitowitz here, back with another video for you. Today is another review and we're talking about dog seat car covers. So if you don't know, my fiance and I have two corgis, Biggie Smalls and Karma. Biggie's a boy, Karma's a girl. She's a tricolored corgi and Biggie is a red and white corgi. So they are Pembroke Welsh corgis and they shed a ton, oh my gosh. There isn't a piece of furniture in our house that does not have dog hair on it. And sometimes the fur can easily blend into light colored blankets. And so if you sit on the couch, use a blanket, get up, all that fur, it gets all over you. And the same goes for our cars. So I had actually been looking for a dog seat cover for a while, just because whenever we go out with the dogs, if we take them to the dog park, if we wanna take them on a walk on a certain trail, we get back in and their paws are dirty. So that leaves our cars with dog paw prints all over it. So I've been testing out this dog seat cover from Amazon, it's called OK Me, OK Me, it's O-K-M-E-E, -E, and it's a luxury dog seat car cover. What I like about this one is that you have multiple ways that you can use it. Now I tested this out in my fiance's truck first, just because I feel like we mostly take his truck when we go out and about with the dogs. So I tried this out in multiple ways. The first way I tried it out was the full way where everything's up and zipped up and hooked up. So that means the cover goes along the front of the back seat and then hooks onto the back of the front seats. So it's kind of like a loop. The sides are also zipped up, so it kind of creates a little box and you hook them onto the little hooks in the back seat. Now I noticed in my fiance's truck, those little hooks are kind of more back than kind of in the middle of the seat. So that was a little weird, but it still worked. The third option is something I tried out in my car, just because my car is smaller, I drive a Mustang. The way that I found it works best in my car is to have the cover up along the front of the back seat and then not hooking the other side towards the front seats. So I actually have that side down. There is no bucket shape, but it does work. I tried it that way anyway, just to see if it could fit in a small car like mine, and it did. But I think mostly what I'll use it as is just having that front part down. That way I can easily get them in and out of my car. One thing I really like about this dog seat cover is that it comes with little belt buckles. So this comes with two belt buckles and that is perfect for me because I have two dogs. So all you gotta do is just actually buckle this to the belt buckle and then you just hook this onto your dog's collar. And I've read so many horror stories online of people in car accidents and their dog goes flying out the window. So that's something that makes me nervous. So I'm so glad that now I have little belt buckles and I don't have to buy them separately. Another cool thing I really like is that there's a mesh window on the side that would hook onto the back part of the front seats. So while you're driving, you can actually see your dogs and they can see you so they don't feel like they're closed up in a tiny box. So it's a good way to keep an eye on them while knowing that your car is staying clean and your dogs are secured. Another bonus feature I like is that there's a pocket on the inside of where the dogs would be on the part that hooks onto the back side of the front seat. So I think that's awesome because you can put your dog leashes in there, um, little, maybe like a little container of water, it can easily fit in there. So there's a lot of good options. I also really like that it's not bulky. So if you decide you don't wanna use that cube box version with it being hooked on top, you can easily zip the sides down and they easily fold down the sides and they just kind of stay there. So it's not bulky, nothing sticking up. And the same goes for that front portion if you just kind of wanna have this version where it just goes on the back seat, slides down the, the seat portion and then goes down to the bottom. Basically the version that I use in my car, it easily kind of folds down. Also one problem we ran into a lot when we lived in Colorado was that Biggie would always get wet and he was soaking wet after leaving the dog park because there's a little creek in there that he would always kind of want to walk into and so he would come out muddy. So at the time I had no choice but to just throw him in my car. Then I started carrying a towel and even that would kind of move around. So the towel will catch some of it, but then most of it would still end up in the backseat of my car. All that dirt, the sand, 
and it's and mud. So the nice thing about this dog seat cover is that it's waterproof and scratch proof. So if you don't trim your dog's nails as much as you probably should, like I do, then don't worry because this dog seat cover won't get scratched up. So if you've been looking for a dog seat car cover, I would say look no further. This is the one that you need. And I feel like it would fit in a lot of different types of vehicles because it fits in my fiance's truck, which is huge. And then it fits in my Mustang, which is small. It's easy to use, easy to put together. It does not take a lot of time to put it up and it does not take a lot of time to take it out. And I'm so happy that this is gonna keep my car clean. Well, at least the back seat. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And seriously, if you're looking for a dog seat cover, give this one a chance, check it out. You will not regret it. Of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do. I put out videos at least once a week, showcasing day in the lives, product reviews, um, videos of my corgis, of course. If you wanna check out more of my dogs, just go to my playlist, Biggie TV, right here on this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.